Today, the Larais forest's ecosystem is in jeopardy. Climatic change has brought with it a shift in the water table and aquifer levels, and the acacias are dying of thirst. Furthermore, a formidable enemy that feeds on young leaves and bark has joined in the process of destruction. The African elephant, which is born at 100 kilos, can end up weighing as much as 6 tons as an adult consuming some 300 kilos of food a day. In the dry season, 70% of its dietary need is satisfied by trees, an excessive demand upon the withering Larai forest. Only adult male elephants live in Gorongoro, the crater lacking sufficient vegetation to feed the large herds made up of females and their offspring. The elephants go to the nearby rivers and pools for their mud baths. Next to them, the hippopotamus also enjoys the permanent year-long presence of water here, a rare luxury indeed. Bathing is open to all and the buffalo also decides to join in the fun. Another species that goes back a long way here in the crater and which is impervious to the daily struggles between predators and prey is man. Some 10,000 years ago, the so-called Stone Bowl people lived off these lands. Then came the Mblu, and after them the Datoga. The Maasai, who are the current inhabitants of the crater, expelled the Datoga and maintain numerous quarrels with these people even today. They refer to the Datoga as the strong enemy. In 1956, the then national park of Gorongoro, which fell within the Serengeti, was the cause of polemic after agriculture and farming were banned within its limits. The Maasai inhabitants were not prepared to renounce their historic rights and the Tanzanian government eventually had to segregate Gorongoro from the national park, creating the so-called conservation zone with its own special management. Today, the Maasai can drive their cattle freely within the conservation zone. They are not allowed to cultivate the land, but the government sell them grain at a very reduced price, thus avoiding renewed protests. One may well suspect that the Maasai's domestic livestock would be in competition with the large herds of herbivores that inhabit the crater. However, the crater has enough grazing ground to feed both without creating difficulties, and therefore domestic livestock does not pose any threat to the conservation of the area. The abundance of life and water in Gorongoro never failed to surprise visitors to the old volcano. The mountains that have so jealously guarded the secret of this crater, hiding it away and caring for its climate, have made it a unique enclave in Africa. Here we will not witness the amazing migration of news to be seen in the Serengeti, because the large bovid herds, the flamingos, the black rhinoceroses and the elephants enjoy a year-round bonanza without equal in the rest of East Africa. The 
The days when the Gorongoro volcano spewed its furious rivers of burning lava from the bowels of the earth are well gone. And today, the crater, together with the Lengai volcano, the Maasai God's mountain, offers us a picture of a little piece of paradise.